first of all, um, just thank you for uh, the gift of your vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you could have kept it at the statistics and you didn't have to bring your own personal uh, situations into it and the experience that you had. Mm -hmm. But as I sit across from you, I'm very heartbroken. Mm -hmm. um, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm heartbroken. From your father to your mentor to whoever put the gun on you. I just kind of need a minute because um, you didn't deserve that. Hmm. I call bullshit. Um, it's obvious that all of these males, black males especially, and all of their little minions that want to be black males that are thuggish and hip hop oriented because they think it's cool. It's really obvious that these people are very insecure and need women to complete themselves, right? And they're doing everything in their power to pretend to care about women and pretend to be sensitive and all of a sudden emotionally intelligent. All so that they could do the same thing they've done before, which is to get women into relationships with them and then abuse them. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am not a Princella fan. I know she's a carn artist. I think that women who follow her are not very bright and they need validation in order to sustain themselves in life because... When you think about all of the trauma, the chaos, the crime, the danger, the hurt and the harm that black males do to black women, whether they know them or not, that's enough reason to just walk away from them and never look their way again. When you sit down and actually let it sink in the magnitude and the the weight of the fact that a rep two reporters chronicalized and recorded 21 years that's two decades two decades of crime committed against black women by black males only based off of hate dislike and just because they could. And then you have this woman pretending to be some type of female messiah who, who is the only person that knows what black women are supposed to do to make them get ahead and make them become these self-efficacy um, <clears throat> accomplished people that only she and she alone can make happen for black women, you know, because all of us don't have brains that work. We don't have independent thought and we only can learn because she's here to teach us, right? And then the rhetoric of trying to force religion, man-made religion on women to make women feel ashamed and guilty and to comply on the guy's part and then on her Priscilla's part to try to use the teachings of religion and the dehumanization of women as a, a, a shield or some type of armor in her defense to keep women hooked on her message believing that she actually has their best interest in mind when she's advising you to do things that she has determined are in your best interest. When in fact, if you actually sat down and really started going through the laundry list of things in life that actually were in your individual best interest, she would not be on the list. Nor would this weird looking guy with the yellow glasses or those other two dudes, no matter how much they're sitting here trying to pretend that they're so open-minded 
and sympathetic and sentimental about things that have happened to women and in this particular case this interview um so sentimental and concerned and uh empathetic and sympathetic about what has happened to princella in her life from her father to every man that has pulled a gun on her done something wrong to her called her a bitch slapped her face or ignored her or rejected her like it's all such performative bullshit and the thing about it is nobody ever realizes that they're being had until it's over you know and i i, I swear to god i can't wait until it's over like i, I wish all these fucking people on youtube who are here hoodwinking black women and gaslighting them all because all these people are doing is trying to get a check that's the reason why it's always one big content creator or group or panel of content creators versus another big content creator or big panel of people because all they're doing is playing nice with each other to share the wealth and taking advantage of the wounds and the hurt feelings of all those black women who are simply out here trying to figure out like those women were saying in the um chicago 21 crime investigation report why me why do you pick me to target to abuse to mistreat and to dehumanize beat down and kill why me right they use that sentiment and that genuine sense of urgency that black women have right to exploit and it doesn't matter if it's her pretending to be the female messiah or it's these guys pretending to be so well-rounded and open-minded where you know you got to give a nigga a chance give a nigga a chance he might he might turn out all right he might do the right thing and you know not all of us are bad and there's some good black men out there nope when it's all real simple like it all comes down to women understand the fact that until all these guys minds change their mentality but especially black males because those are the ones killing you and harming you every day and not doing what they're supposed to do for their community their black women well when i say that i mean collectively and children there's nothing and no one who sits on here talking about anything all day is going to make a difference in their mentality has to change where they have to want to be something they have to want to have some level of self-integrity where it matters to them what they do every day with themselves it matters to them that they do something right by the black women who have always held them down and to be fathers to their children and to provide and engage with the community that shit has to matter to them and until it does which it does not currently no matter how much these people try to perform and pretend that they care and you and you're the only thing that makes them go out here and thrive to be better people and put on these shows and come on and do all of these um lives and and interviews and sit downs with each other because you the person they don't know from nowhere and that they probably will never meet in life is their main focus their main goal the thing that fuels them makes them get up out of bed in the morning if you believe that shit i got a bridge to sell you and i'm just so tired of black women being so easily swayed by the people who come on YouTube to just mass produce a message to get the most money they can out of harming black women and they don't care what the results are or what happens in the remaining quake after they've, after they've gone. You know, it's just so sad how black people can never get out of their own way. It's like, this woman should never have this big of a following. She should never have women thinking that she's the truth and she's telling them something that they don't fucking already know. It's like, oh my God. Every time... Listen, all I know is that every time... 
we try to get people to get focused to do something else in life besides center men and worship guys and think about being somebody's fucking wife and just being a mother and somebody who basically contributes nothing to society besides populating society it always becomes way more important than what it actually is like and these conversations never go beyond the bullshit that they entail to the serious conversations we need to be having like why is it that black women are dying every day every four to five hours of the day and why do they intentionally seek out these relationships what is it about the way they feel about themselves that makes them feel like they can't live in this world without wanting to have one of these males by their side who are horribly killing them and who are horribly killing their children why is it these are the conversations we need to have right that black women can dismiss real reality and real consequences to things in life and ignore red flags that will end up being the main reason why they're killed and their children follow after them they can dismiss that and act like it's not it's not going to affect them but when you tell them you need to stop engaging in this silly shit here like leave all these black males alone on on youtube stop watching them stop viewing their shit stop going to their channels stop giving them money they will never accept that and when you tell them the same thing about the women who are exploiting them just as much as the males they can never accept that either like looking at this right here you should be able to watch this and go they're all in cahoots with each other she's on some bullshit and they're on some bullshit and they talked behind the scene before this shit went down to make it go as smooth as it as smooth as it as it did and in the direction and on the track that it did because all these people are here trying to make money off of the stupidity of black women the desperation of black women the sense of longing of black women the sense of feeling rejected and that they're inferior to other women all of that dysfunctional shit that goes on in the head of the majority of black women who are the followers of this woman and all these guys like this dude and even the ones that are way more bizarre than these guys are and it's just like as a black woman i sit and i go why are they so fucked up in the head i mean i live this life too and the same things that affect y'all affect me but i can clearly see that black males are never beneficial to me not fucking them not being around them not having conversations with them not doing a fucking thing with them the best thing they can do for me and other black women who actually have a brain and understand this is to stay the fuck as far away from us as they can and never fucking come around us again not even if they're related to us and I just don't understand why enough black women don't feel the same way. Like, we need to be spending our time fighting about abortion rights, reproductive rights for black women, housing rights, employment, um, in, uh, employment enforcement when we are given disparate treatment at work and we're maltreated at work. Child care for our children that is affordable tutoring for our kids that we need to bring them up to speed with everyone else they um to end it, Ill illiteracy to end um gangs to end uh little girls and, and boys um teenage and pubescent suicide rates um all the things that affect us on a on a social psychosocial level that is not being addressed because grown ass women are wasting their time worrying about catching the fucking gaze of a black male like i don't i don't under this they're acting worse than high school students 
and running behind the queen of the prom here because she's saying some things that you should already know and should not need her to tell you the same shit over and over and over again and disturbing shit that she does like with that gay shit I'm a woman I don't ever want to be fucking on another woman ever in life okay I don't see no benefit to that shit at all now can I build with women can I work with women to do something crazy productive for not just myself but for other women you fucking right and if it meant I had to be locked down with them forever, we would be working our asses off. But I would never, ever think about or want to roll over and sweat on that bitch. Never. So, I don't understand black women, but I do understand this. The way that you are so easily misdirected and so susceptible to bullshit on media... It is going to be your downfall. White people have studied and already know this about you. That is going to be the very thing that allows that prediction of by 2030, 50% of us will be unemployed. And by 2050, almost all of us will be destitute. That type of shit that's constantly happening online in the black sector of YouTube, TikTok, all the rest of that, where we're so focused on cohabitation and commingling and fornication, we're going to lose everything else the rest of the world has to offer us. And honestly, it gets to a point where women like me, we get tired of talking and tired of trying to help because it just seems like we are fighting a losing battle. And it's so crazy because you don't have to do any of this shit. You don't have to do any of it. All you got to do is just like take care of yourself and not worry about fucking dudes at all. Like they're not good for anything what are they good for they've spent their whole entire existence on the face of this earth indoctrinating and making women believe that they are nothing but to be here to serve fuck and suck and bring children into the world for males why would you ever want to worship and over identify with someone who has been treating you like a slave your whole fucking entire existence. I, I just don't understand, like the, the, the majority of black women, I don't understand you. It is not that hard to let these sorry motherfuckers go. Just let them go wherever the fuck they want to go and don't ever deal with them again. I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. But if any of you women do, Please, by all means, enlighten me. Good night.